Hey guys, what's up? It's Iflin here, and welcome to episode 17 of Warframe Beginner's Guides 2.5. I almost forgot what episode we were on there. This episode is basically just going to be a bunch of housekeeping and stuff, and this is basically the end of the series. It's, it's weird how this one is 17 episodes long, and all the other ones were like, you know, 30 episodes, 40 episodes. It's kind of weird, but at least once this is done, I can kind of like move on, uh, go forward in the game, and sort of bring you guys like better series and all that stuff, and sort of talk more about the game, and you know, let you guys learn stuff and other stuff and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But um, we're basically just going to be going through some of the basics, things that you guys should have um, already kind of learned. Uh, this is my Loki. He is the best looking frame in the entirety of the game. So if you ever see someone who, um, thinks that their Loki looks better than mine, uh, tell them to refer back to beginner guides. That's what you do anytime you see anyone who is struggling in Warframe. All you do is say, refer back to beginner guides. Anytime someone puts the wrong weapon on a build, you say, refer back to beginner guides. Anytime someone makes any sort of mistake in this game, they have to refer back to beginner guides. That is a running meme in this Discord, and I want to make it a running meme in the Warframe community as well. So I want you guys to go ahead and tweet at me over Twitter at xiflinx. Hashtag refer back to beginner guides. Do it. Do it. All one, all one sentence. No spaces. Hashtag refer back to beginner guides. Let's let's get it trending in Twitter, guys. Re tweet it at tactical potato. Tweet it at Megami. A gay guy plays every single one of them. Refer back to beginner guides. Let's go. Get this trending in Twitter. Um, also, Googly Eyes Tenno. You guys remember that meme? That can also be a thing as well. But re refer back to the beginner, guys. That's that's a better one. Um, I have no idea why I told you guys to tweet that out those people, but you know what? Let's do it. Let's let's do this. Um, but yeah. So this is uh, more or less the the final episode. I don't want it to be the final episode, but it, it kind of has to be the final episode. So what you guys should be doing from this point onwards is. Um, getting everything in the game um you want to be farming the, the 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 prime parts in this little thing here so you want to be farming up all your prime parts uh like these things over here selling those off for platinum trading those so you can basically get everything in the game so from this point on basically your goal is to raise your mastery rank and find a loadout which really suits you um what i like to do is i just you know like if you're looking for like a really badass loadout right guys you want to go with this here this is this is the loadout that i usually goes for it's like a standard um standard loadout for surviving in missions this is this is just what i do so if we go for the, the twin gracades these are weapons that you can get usually pretty early and then we'd be going for the Orphos or the Orphos Prime. If you guys can't get your hands on the Orphos Prime, I'm not too sure if it's Volta or not, but trying to get your hands on the Orphos Prime one way or another, it's a pretty decent weapon. Um, so basically what this is, this is a crit loadout uh, in terms of your primary weapon. Then your Twin Gracadis is just for pure DPS, and then your Orphos is for, you know, your quick melee, right? So we have our Soma Prime, and this is how I am mod for Soma. Uh, you guys can refer back to that um, spreadsheet in episode 5 if you guys need help with all this other stuff. Um, but basically, this is a, a crit build. So we have our point strike battle sense. You guys know the drill. Serration, heavy caliber, split chamber. And uh, you have, you know, your, your basic stuff. So these are your damage mods and you throw on your elemental mods based on the faction you're going against. This is my grenier build. You guys will see those in videos that are up and coming. Uh, point strike battle sense for our crit. And then I threw on this prime being a grenier mod because this is a really good mod in terms of dealing damage to that particular faction. Moving on to the corpus build, infested build, so on and so forth. And you just uh, kind of progress like that. This is my twin gracadas build. Twin gracadas are insanely good. Uh crit secondaries to the, the fire rate in these things are insane they're just like the best uh fast fire and secondaries in the game like you have a 71.8 percent crit chance with a 4.2 multiplier that's pretty crazy with all these uh other awesome uh multipliers here so you know you have your base damage lethal torrent gives you fire rate multi shot 120 multi shot which you'll do from uh spawning in assassins and i believe in this episode we're also going to be showing you guys uh the void trader as well so the void trader is a guy who comes every two Fridays, and what will happen is you'll get a message in your inbox, uh, basically, um, like telling you that he's landed at a certain relay. Now you have to obviously progress up the mastery ranks to have access to every single relay in the game. But once you hit, I think it's mastery rank twelve, you'll have access to every single um, relay. So you want to head to one of the relays, um, and I can sort of show you guys how to 
get access to the Void Trader. And basically how the Void Trader works is you go and you farm up uh, your prime parts and you can trade them in for a premium currency known as Ducats or Ducats. And that can then be traded in for prime mods and cosmetics and all these other cool things that uh, can be unlocked in game. So you can stay uh, mostly free to play in terms of cosmetics and stuff. You don't have to spend your platinum on... Um, cosmetics that you may see in the market so it's another way of uh, getting cosmetics in the game without actually um you know actually spending your plat so what you want to do first off is actually trade in some of your prime parts so you head over here now based on the rarity of the prime part obviously it'll be worth more so astoletto prime blueprint is worth 100 ducats so i'd trade that in and i'll get 100 ducats here i'd press sell easy peasy don't want to do that right now because i have 230 but you know you go for your list and whatever you think that you know you don't really need or you get too much of you just go ahead and trade that in for example the burst in prime barrel i could put in eight of those and then you know get ducats from it and just farm that over and over again and then once i have enough for whatever i want i'd head over to the bar over here and he has a bunch of stuff so he actually has a quest which you can buy uh this is the silence of anaros quest and this will give you the anaros warframe here is the cyan dana which you know just makes you look fancy and there's a bunch of skins there is weapons and there is mods so prime point blank is definitely one that you want to pick up if you're watching this on the day it released and prime fast hands another mod you want to pick up same with prime reach and there's all these other things that you can go ahead and buy you can get Katir earrings for your Tenno, which, at least in my opinion, is an absolute gimmick. Do not buy these. These are terrible excuses for content. Like, it's it's literally like a little little diamond on your ear. Why would you pay 500 ducats plus 400 fuzz and credits? It's crazy. Crazy. And it's so stupid. You don't even see it. But still. Um, so, yeah, that's the Void Trader. He comes every two Fridays. Um... And he just gives good stuff. And this is really, you can run around, talk to people, do your thing. And, uh, yeah, he gives good stuff. So things like Prime Point Blank, Prime Continuity, Prime Flow, those are mods you want to be looking out for. Of course, the normal versions are fine. But, you know, you don't really need anything insane uh, to make your Warframes insane. I also have this message from Lunar Proximity. He's a guy who comes in my Twitch stream a lot and spams the heck out of my chat. Basically keeps the chat alive for me, so... Hey, don't open until you're in a video. Merry Christmas. Love you and your videos. Your spammiest of spams will enter. So he, he knows himself that he talks a, a lot. Um, so if you guys want to go ahead and send me stuff in game, my IGN currently is I am iFlynn, but I'm looking to get that changed to just iFlynn. So, you know, you can send me and I'll open it up in the video as long as you said you want to open it in the video and I will show it. But yeah, this is from Lunar Proximity and we get a more fixed decoration. So that's pretty cool. I guess I'm kind of obliged to put that somewhere in my ship now. So... How do I actually do this? Uh, I forget how to do this. Litter, please. Why do you have to do this to me? Landing craft. Customize interior. This is the wrong thing. I need to go to place decorations or something. Woo! Here we go. Uh, place decorations. And it's the morphic one. Morphic. 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 There we go. Uh, where are we going to put it? Where am I going to put it? Put it here. Over here. So it looks so weird, though. Like, what, what even is this? Well, let's set it here, I guess. Looks kind of cool. Let's just set it there. That looks cool. Well, there, there you go, Lunar. I, I put your decoration in my ship. It's going to stay there now forever. So, anytime you guys want to send me stuff in-game, just go ahead and do it, and I'll place it in my ship, and this this place will be, like, credit as hell. So, um, yeah, that's pretty cool, but... um. Yeah, that's pretty much the end of the Beginner Guide series. I mean, all you can really do now is sort of stay in the loop of the game. Uh, do tack alerts, do any missions that you haven't done yet. So, Hidden Messages, Limbo Theorem, Sense of Naros, Jordis Precept. Uh, all those mods, not mods, but, you know, all these uh, missions give you different Warframes and stuff. You can stay up to date with the alerts and stuff over here. You can uh, follow Warframe alerts on Twitter, download the Nexus app, do your thing. Follow Invasions, sometimes these give, like, really decent... Um, rewards such as field drawn or maybe even orc and catalyst uh do your syndicates i forgot to mention uh syndicates during this guide as well so i guess we'll talk about the syndicates too so syndicates are basically uh factions so you guys can sign up to um doesn't really matter which one you do because they're all uh, decent in one way or another like 
for example, Steel Meridian, like they all give one, at least one decent weapon. So if we were to open this up, you can see that you get augment mods for your frames and augment mods for your weapon. So this one right here in the Steel Meridian faction will give you plus 200% multi shot and one justice. And basically, justice is like a syndicate proc or a syndicate effect, which will basically explode and uh, deal a certain elemental type of damage based on the amount of XP you gain. So it's usually 2000 XP, then it does an explosion, dealing a certain amount of damage in a radius whenever you have a mod like this equipped, or whenever you're using a syndicate weapon such as the Marlock or the Vic or Heck. Um, so yeah, these are very interesting to go for. I personally go with um, New Luka and the Parent Sequence because these are the ones that not a lot of people actually go for. Saying that, that was like the meta whenever the game, whenever these first arrived. New Luka and Parent Sequence were the less favorable. And then the Arbiters of Hex Hexus and Cephalon Suda were more of the go-to because they had better weapons and stuff at the time. They still do have pre pretty good weapons and stuff, but the meta has slightly shifted. And I say slightly because they're all still very relevant. So it doesn't really matter which one you go for, just go for which you think is the coolest and um, go on from there, I guess. Probably the least favorable one, at least in my opinion, probably would be um, the Red Veal, other than the fact that they have probably the best looking sign, Dana, and the highest DPS bow and arrow in the game, if you mod it correctly. But that is... Um, just that i guess but these guys have the highest dps shotgun um you know arbiters of hexus what do they offer I, I forget so they have a really good uh, melee item like they all have really good things to offer you so it's really just on a personal opinion you can farm up um i believe it's based off your master rank so i can farm i think it's 21 pheasant standing in one day so the higher master rank the more you can farm you can also do your pvp standing over here you can do that by playing lenara which is a it's basically a uh throw it's basically basketball let's let's face it it's rocket league and warframe or as i like to call it, basketball farm up the new primes and stuff uh i'll be posting tutorials and stuff on my channel on how to farm prime frames i'm gonna be doing necro skeleton uh valkyr venka all the different primes will be um Post it in a t tutorial on my channel in the upcoming days, as well as modding guides and weapon build guides and all this stuff. Like, there's so much stuff that I want to do with Warframe, it's just kind of finding the time to do it. So, you know, I really hope that this uh, Beginner's Guide 2.5 to help you. It should have got you on your feet in terms of um, getting started in Warframe. Everything else will be posted as separate guides going more into depth uh, in that certain aspect of the game. For example, you know, uh, Kubro's modding weapons, modding warframes, uh, what to build in your foundry, how to build things in your foundry, um, you know, farming a certain uh, resource in the most efficient way possible, doing sorties, and all this other stuff. Because you completed the warven, you now have access to sorties, which will get you a list of, um, you know, all these different rewards here. So you have, you know, your endo, rifle mod, riven mods, focus lens, uh, you know, all this other stuff. So there's a lot to do. And uh, thank you guys for coming along in the ride of Beginner's Guide 2.5. It was kind of just a quickly put together thing whenever the star chart came out. I didn't really think it was going to be like one of my favorite series, the mech, simply because it's a lot better than my original series. But even at that, like, it's kind of sad to see this one go by so fast. I really wanted this one to be a lot longer, but we're kind of at the point where, you know, you've got through the game this fast and the game's become that easy. It's really easy to get up on your feet in terms of this game. It's kind of just staying with the meta and how things work from this point onwards. So that's what I'm going to be doing, and uh, that's what I'm going to be doing along with you guys. So it's kind of going to be a journey... Uh, on this YouTube channel in terms of staying up to date with the meta. So I'm going to make this uh, into a playlist. I'm going to post the playlist link down in the description below. And if you want to throw that link at people whenever they just wanted to get started in Warframe, please feel free to do so. Thank you guys for watching every single video if you have uh, up until this point. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next series.